Today I'm watching Layden Robinson. He's six foot four, three oh two, with thirty four and five eighths inch arms. He's a right guard out of Texas A and M. One of Layden's great weapons is his punch or his shoot. It's very powerful, and in most cases, it stops a defender in their tracks or he latches on and they cannot come off. This is Layden at right guard versus Auburn. Watch the shoot, the latch, grip strength. Very frequently you see guys frustrated by that. A big part of Layden's game is power. Watch as he passes off this inside rush, picks up this long stick, this twist outside. 34 plus inch arms, a lot of power behind that punch. You can see just with that one arm. And then visually he picks up this stick or this twist coming across, shoots his hands, stops the feet, and then latches on. Watch it again. Similar looking play as we see Layden with his inside arm, get a punch on this two eye. His outside arm is going to shove him down the line. He's going to pick up a visual on this twist scraping over with that outside arm, come off that initial block, grab the cloth on the inside number of the defender. This hand is wide, does a good job moving his feet. And then that grip strength really comes to bear here. You can see he's got a firm <laughs> grip on the defender, even though he's a little off balance at this point, and he's not going to let go. I haven't seen anybody go through this guy or shake him uh, in this manner. Watch it again. Another pass protection rep, vertical set. This guy's going to work inside. That can sometimes give him a hard time. In this case, it does a good job of keeping his eyes on the target, shoots his hands, moves his feet, and drives with his legs, and then finishes the block. Once he gets his hands on you, you're usually done. Layden is a big believer in his hands in pass protection. He's a big believer in hitting you first. His nose is going to work to his side. Shoots his hands, definitely a little high, but as was mentioned earlier, if he can latch on to you, he's not going to let you just slip right off the block, and he frustrates guys. Watch it again. There are times where he'll react a little sluggishly uh, when it comes to fakes or jabs at the line of scrimmage. It could be that there's a little bit of slow footedness side to side uh, in pass protection when there is space. Just a big run up to him. You're going to see him stop his feet, lunge, bend at his waist, and whiff. Good effort in recovery, though. It's pretty common to see him finishing guys to the ground, uh, pancake blocks. He's violent and physical. Both very good attributes or desirable attributes for offensive linemen. They're going to move the pocket, slide the offensive line, watch him come over and finish the nose tackle. Whether he's run blocking or pass blocking, he absolutely takes it to uh, the defender across from him. He fires off the football perhaps better than any other lineman in this draft. You can see that here. Very impressive leg drive. He's physical and he moves, guys. Watch the get off, the leg drive, and the clear out. He plays a little high off the snap, but watch how quickly he's able to attach himself to the defender, how he stays on the block, snap to whistle. As I said on the last clip, he does tend to play a little high off the ball. But I like his footwork getting into this drive block. I love his helmet placement right on the defender's chin. But you can see he's high on this block, does continue to run his legs. He's got cloth with his inside arm, but he's straight up, and the defender is more apt to be able to slide off these blocks.
as he's quick off the line, he's very effective in combination and on down blocks. I do like his technique in that regard. Gets good movement here. Watch the finish. Sometimes in his effort to get off the ball and into a block, he's slow to react as a defender works opposite, crossing his face. Not sure where Layden goes in this draft. Could be somewhere between the third and the fifth round. I do think he has potential as a starter at some point.